Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat pagi semua Saya uh, Mr. Ruki Saham So hari ni saya nak buat satu session live eh Yang saya selalu buat hari Kamis atau Jumaat eh So memandangkan uh, Kebetulan saya ada sedikit free time eh So saya decide untuk buat live hari ni eh Okay saya ada buat pengumuman tadi uh, Yang saya akan live today Alright So uh, Apa khabar semua Uh, macam mana saham sekarang Ok kalau tengok semalam uh, Market Drop agak heavy eh Market um, Dia tak sangat dari segi indeks eh But in terms of jumlah counter eh, Sampai 900 lebih eh Counter drop eh Orang kata very huge lah Yang gain around 100 plus je So usually Benda ni kita panggil um, is, I think is the Dia panggil apa semalam uh, Worst sell off is it Worst sell off So benda ni antara Market jitters lah saya panggil lah Yang berlaku eh Kalau you dah lama dalam saham ni Normal lah Benda ni normal lah eh. uh, Market drop 40 points 30 points Ada yang saya pernah tengok Seminggu straight pun ada So Bagi saya Market will always be like this eh Dia ada time Dia akan rebound It will show uh, Apa uh, Positive Hijau, 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 hijau Dia ada time, dia akan um, Orang kata apa Tunjuk merah-merah macam ni okay? But at the end of the day Macam saya selalu cakap eh, Siapa yang dah follow saya punya channel Okay, for the past Daripada 2016 eh, Saya buat this uh, channel Ruki Saham Gakuan ni So, you all akan tahu eh, That saya lebih kepada Fundamental eh So, and uh, saya tekankan company eh Rather than the market itself Okay, because market is about sentiment And it's about supply and demand je So basically, the real thing is Actually, when you talk about shares You have to look at the company itself Okay, you have to look at the business itself So, hari ni um, Saya berada dekat ni eh Sambil-sambil saya breakfast eh pagi ni um, Biasa lah, saya punya coffee And ni lah, yang kata apa My bread for the morning lah eh Okay, saya pun tengah diet sekarang ni Okay, dah start balik Alhamdulillah eh, Dah sebulan eh Saya stick to this diet Saya stick dengan diet saya um, Orang kata ni lah Apa uh, Kesihatan tu Is something that you cannot replace with money eh So, no matter how much money you have Kalau kesihatan kita kena tarik Then dia jadi pointless eh So Kena alert eh Especially when you dah Enter your 30s eh Mula-mula uh, lah apa Dah start lah macam-macam penyakit eh datang eh Okay So basically saya live Lain sikit eh Saya punya location sekarang Saya berada dekat rumah parents saya eh. So um, Kalau you notice some of my life tu Kadang-kadang bunyi ketam, ketum, ketam, ketum Okay so basically tu Sebab construction eh um, Di tengah renovation sekarang So before renovation start Assalamualaikum uh, Kamarul Okay uh, So before renovation start So saya better buat live eh Before ada interruption eh Okay So this is uh, basically dekat Saya dekat rooftop eh So my father created this place eh Tempat Macam hangout lah Tempat hangout Saya boleh buat live And then uh, Kalau ada meetings ke Dengan kawan-kawan apa semua So we can we can hang out at this place eh Maybe saya can show you a bit lah Dia macam rooftop lah Kalau you pernah tengok uh, Cerita Korea dia Dia ada rooftop kan So It's somewhat like uh, So saya dekat roof Okay So you can see that down That's the sec This second floor eh Okay, so Orang kata apa Tempat <laughs> Untuk santai-santai eh Okay, so there's a view bit Okay Alright um, Okay So um, Before saya start eh Saya punya session for today eh Today is a very Orang kata satu topik yang menarik eh Saya nak kupas eh So maybe saya nak um, Bagi mereka yang tak tahu Sebab saya tengok Rookie Saham Gakuen sekarang Channel dia dah, dah makin ramai subscriber eh Dah makin ramai orang uh, follow eh Last time saya started tu Maybe dalam 100-200 orang eh So sekarang The channel have grown eh Dah uh, dekat Facebook Saya tengok dah jadi kat 1300 follower eh So Alhamdulillah eh, thank you very much eh Siapa yang rajin follow saya punya channel okay? um, Saya harap dia lah Apa saja yang saya share uh, Knowledge yang saya kongsikan Pengalaman yang saya cerita So it brings you Orang kata satu manfaat lah okay? Especially pada mereka yang Sangat 
skeptical dan sangat takut lah saham sebab banyak sangat cerita-cerita buruk lah saham ni eh. Okay, it's basically because macam saya selalu kata eh, um, kebanyakan orang bila dia involve dalam saham dia ni nak cepat and then dia bukan actually invest eh, they actually trade so they more to gambling game. Okay? Saya bukan kata trading tu salah tapi trading tu harus sistematik dan trading adalah trading syarikat yang betul. Bukannya main bedal je just because syarikat tu murah eh. Murah 5 sen, 4 sen, 3 sen, 10 sen, 20 sen. Main bedal je trading. So bila loss and then you blame the market, you blame the uh, orang kata uh, apa people yang ajar you, you blame everybody except yourself. Alright, so basically macam saya cakap tu, eh, market will always be like that. Dia akan up, dia akan down. Itu normal. But companies, good companies will grow over time. And um, orang kata kalau you choose the right company, you will definitely benefit kalau you dah invest more than 10 years. Okay, orang siapa yang invest more than 10 years tapi masih tak nampak growth, there's something wrong with your method. Okay, saya bagi tahu you there's something wrong with your method. So you kena betulkan method tu dahulu. Okay. Okay, jangan orang kata um, trying to do the same thing tapi you expect different result. So, itu kita panggil insanity eh. Okay, when the result is not there, meaning the method is wrong. So, you kena change your method. So, kat sini saya ambil kesempatan eh. Before saya start saya punya um, sesi live hari ni. So, saya just nak tunjuk you eh. Saya ada satu DVD eh, produk eh. Alright, I have this DVD produk. Actually, saya dah buat produk ni dah lama. Okay, cuma saya... Tak berapa ada masa eh, nak nak promote eh. Okay, so I have this product called Rookie Sam Gakuen Digital Training. So basically, um, saya telah buat rakaman eh. Rakaman um, about 7 hours eh. 7 hours of the knowledge eh. The knowledge yang saya kumpul selama 10 tahun eh. Dalam market. That apa yang penting untuk you tahu. Okay, bukan semua benda you kena tahu eh. Okay, nobody can know everything. Tapi apakah benda-benda penting yang you kena tahu. So, dalam uh, this DVD, dia ada pecah pada dua. Okay. So, you can see there's two DVDs. Okay, it's about seven hours. Saya pecahkan pada lima fasa. So, basically, fasa pertama adalah lebih kepada teori. Okay, teori and then you know about shares, uh, apa jenis-jenis saham, okay. What types of share, warrant, apa semua tu. And then fasa uh, kedua saya cerita tentang risk everything uh, apa apa tu risk uh, profit. It's more on fundamental side dulu eh. And then ketiga tu saya cerita pasal sistem. Dan fasa keempat saya pecahkan kepada um, financial statement eh. Apa yang penting you kena tengok dalam financial statement eh. Income statement, balance sheet apa semua. And then uh, also the ratios. Apakah financial ratios yang you kena buat untuk you tengok whether the company is good or not okay and the last one is a bonus lah okay fasa 5 which is saya cerita pasal the benefits eh why actually we have to do long term investment eh okay kalau kita nak minat trading sekalipun kita jangan semua 100% trading so maybe kita pecahkan 70-30 70% is investment 30% is trading ataupun 80-20 okay terpulang Tapi yang penting, kita kena banyakkan side on the investment. So, dalam tu, saya, fasa lima tu saya cerita kenapa you kena invest lama. Okay, and bila you invest lama, baru you nampak result dia. Okay, so that is fasa kelima. So, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Okay, everything encompass what I've been learning for the past ten years. Eh. So, kalau you minat with the DVD, you boleh PM dekat saya punya inbox. Eh. Okay, um... Okay, so DVD ni bukan saja orang kata habis kat situ eh. So, it also comes with a telegram network eh. So, basically, saya ada telegram group di mana saya bantu you. Okay, saya bantu you dekat situ. So, bila lepas you dah tengok DVD tu, ada part yang you tak faham ataupun apa yang dalam DVD tu saya tak cover, you boleh tanya dalam telegram group. So, yang mahal ni sebenarnya ialah telegram group tu tersendiri. Okay, so dalam ni saya masih cerita semua benda lah. Mostly on the fundamental side tu Banyak benda saya cerita dalam ni So orang kata Benda yang ribu-ribu tu Semua saya kompas dalam ni eh Okay so jangan takut dengan harga Saya bukan orang yang Jenis macam tu eh. Kalau tengok sebanyak dah saya share ilmu free eh So you boleh PM my inbox uh, To get more information on the DVD And uh, yang paling penting ialah The telegram network Okay Make use of the telegram tu Okay Mereka yang dah purchase DVD ni eh Yang dah ada purchase DVD ni Make sure you use the telegram eh Tanya soalan eh Tanya soalan kepada saya Okay, supaya That you learn more 
Okay, kalau you tak ada inisiatif untuk tanya soalan, maka you sendiri akan lose the thing. <laughs> Thank you, Kamarul. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kebanyakan banyak eh, saya punya orang kata customer dah beli eh. I think about 100 over uh, clients eh, dah beli this DVD. So, they have in the Telegram network eh. So, Telegram tu you boleh tanya apa saja you nak tanya. So, insya Allah. Uh, benda yang saya tahu saya jawab Saya maybe jawab dalam bentuk video Atau saya jawab direct dekat telegram Atau kadang-kadang maybe saya perlukan masa Untuk saya research soalan you Alright, okay So kita tolak ni semua ke tepi Kita start kita punya session live eh Sambil-sambil tu saya breakfast saya eh, pagi Sebab kejap lagi pukul 9 market dah start So saya kena fokus Pada market um, And then saya ada urusan-urusan lain eh Alright, so macam saya cerita pagi tadi eh, uh, Dalam saya punya Facebook saya tulis eh Facebook Ruki Saham Gakuan Saya ada mention eh uh, Lima komponen eh Lima komponen penting For you to decide um, Which is the best company to buy Ataupun which shares Yang represent company lah Shares ni company kan So macam mana you nak select The good companies yang ada potential Untuk you buy As a long term investment Okay Saya banyak tengok eh Di uh, Saya banyak follow ni eh Saya banyak follow group-group saham eh Okay uh, Cuma saya silent reader lah. Saya tak banyak komen Saya diam je Tapi saya notice eh Saya notice that When they teach They talk about penny stocks Tapi bila dia bagi example later Macam kebetulan Harta Lega Dia bagi bonus Dia they go up so much Dia naik laju Dia bagi example Oh Macam contoh Harta Lega So it doesn't match eh So, bila you nak ajar-ajar orang benda yang match dengan apa yang you akan cakap later. So, jangan ajar orang buy penny stocks, focus penny stocks. Suddenly, bila you bagi example, you bagi example, beli saham fundamental RM7, RM8. Okay, so kalau you nak cerita kat orang beli saham RM7, RM8, daripada awal, please cerita pasal saham-saham fundamental yang harga dia mahal. Mahal ni, okay. Mahal is for a reason, eh. Okay, because saya selalu kata, Pentingkan quality over quantity Jangan fokus pada quantity Kita pentingkan quality Alright So Lima komponen Apa lima komponen tu? Alright Okay First komponen eh First komponen Business Okay When you talk about buying shares The first thing is you have to look at the business. Okay? Katakanlah, okay? The business is engineering. Okay? But you don't have background engineering. And you don't have keen to study what is engineering. Nak nak study apa? Orang kata um, kalau dia introduce benda ni, you nak tahu lebih, tak ada. You tak ada that desire. Meaning what? Meaning you don't understand the business. I put it as simple as that Okay Saya pun bukan semua company saya tiba eh. Macam maksudnya bukan semua industri saya masuk Okay, saya background engineering eh. I did my um, degree, bachelor's degree In biochemical, biotech engineering And then um, I took lah eh. Saya cuba untuk ambil CFA level 1 eh. uh, Which saya tak lepas lah. But I learn a lot eh. In terms of finance, saya belajar dekat situ lah Okay, and then I do a lot of reading, a lot of uh, e- apa orang kata banyak membaca, bukan baca, banyak tengok video, banyak tengok video ibu. And then I, I self learn myself accounting. Okay, so basically apa yang saya nak cerita kat sini ialah bila you nak select syarikat, you kena select syarikat yang you faham business dia wajib. Okay, jangan follow orang. Eh, regardless how good, how good benda tu macam saya, I'm not that good in the semiconductor, electricity, electric, electronics. Staff, apa, IT I'm not in good in that IT solution Saya tak faham sangat bisnes tu And saya pun tak minat sangat bisnes tu Jadi Walaupun 2017 I think It was a booming of the industry For the semiconductor apa semua Saya tak interested Saya tak invest Okay I invest only in things that I know Plantation um, Apa lagi uh, Insurance Okay um, Furnitures Okay um, Textile Okay, benda-benda yang saya suka Okay, industrial products Okay, chemicals Because sebab saya, saya dulu Degree saya dalam biochemical, biotech engineering So, saya understand what is 
anything related dengan biotech dengan chemical insyaallah saya faham maksudnya saya boleh google saya boleh cari balik lah apa yang saya belajar kat universiti tu so nombor satu ialah you kena faham business dia kenapa you kena faham business dia bila you faham business baru you tahu what are the risk involved kalau you process dia process business tu sendiri you tak faham macam mana you nak faham kalau ada risiko-risiko yang tak dicerita macam mana you nak teka macam mana you nak agak So, you tak boleh Sebab tu pentingnya You uh, Faham bisnes tersebut Kalau boleh daripada your own background Lagi baik lah Okay, kalau bukan daripada your background Maksudnya lim- you limited Okay, contohnya you hanya You daripada medical field So, you hanya tahu ho- pasal Hospital, medical, pharmacies Okay, pharmacy Okay, and maybe uh, pharmac- uh, com- apa? Chemicals Okay, but kalau macam saya kata, kalau you ada minat tu untuk study plantation, you memang minat, you akan study apakah proses daripada biji benih, nak tanam apa semua, hectare per hectare, how much, cost per hectare, how much, you minat, uh, you check selalu CPO price, what's the relation CPO dengan uh, soybean, that kind of thing. Kalau you ada that desire, yes, you can go and do other different fields. Tak ada masalah. Okay, sebab itulah kelebihan bidang saham Where you can invest in a lot of industry Yang penting ialah memahami industri tersebut Kalau you tak faham industri tersebut Apa saja yang diorang goreng Apa saja yang diorang cerita You baca, you accept You akan macam, oh, okay, oh, okay Ni betul lah ni kot uh, So because menulis ni, okay When you explain things Kalau macam katakanlah result kami ni tu teruk time tu Dia akan explain lah macam biasa uh, Kalau macam airlines dia akan Blame the jet fuel Dia akan blame the cost of Oil price Apa Okay So you dah tahu Okay Benda-benda tu Is common Terlalu dah Selalu itu je Problem dia So You cannot accept sometimes Okay You cannot accept So In other words That if you know the business Then baru you tahu Whether Business tu suitable Ke you masuk invest Okay Bukan semua business ni bagus eh Saya bagi tahu you eh Not every single business is good Sometimes they just go for the business For them to float Dia dapat gaji dia Dia dapat bonus dia But the company is not moving Berlaku eh Benda-benda macam ni So you kena careful So understanding business eh Number one Itu dari segi business eh Business saya saya akan pecahkan Saya pecahkan Okay nombor dua Sustainability Okay <coughs> Apa saya maksud dengan kat sini Apakah maksud sustainability <coughs> Okay Sustainability means dekat sini Business ni ada future untuk kita orang kata uh, expand okay? untuk maknanya masih tak lapuk di orang kata masa hadapan ok something like that ok aku terbang lalu ok maksudnya business ni sentiasa ada demand jangan habis ada lalu So rumah saya ni dekat dengan Subai Pond Okay Subai Jaya eh Dekat dengan Subai Pond So So okay So sustainable eh We talk about sustainability Okay Jadi Contoh-contoh eh Macam contoh Business um, Apa dia kata Suat khabar Okay Why suat khabar dah tak laku sah? Sebab dah ada internet Dah ada online Jadi Generasi muda Lebih prefer Untuk go online Memang masih Laku tu Sebab masih ada lagi Generasi masa lepas Yang masih Beli Fizikal surat khabar Tapi kebanyakan kita Sekarang semua Semua orang ada di uh, What you call smartphone So basically You akan Shift Okay Bila business shift Okay And you tak change eh Sebab tu berlaku uh, Kalau you baca sejarah Kodak tu Kodak Okay When they um, Orang kata apa They collapse Sejarah Kalau you boleh baca cerita dia Okay Because they refuse to change Okay So There are businesses Yang dia akan hype sekejap je Dia takkan stay lama So this type of business You wouldn't want to invest long term Unless you follow up Memang dengan management dia Dia ada uh, Orang kata desire Untuk move with time Dia akan follow dengan time Okay So uh, Another one company Company that publishes Let's say about books Okay So books pun nowadays is Gone online dah juga Okay Memang ada certain Minority okay Yang still in the books But when you talk about business Kita nak market share yang besar Kita tak nak cerita pasal Oh ada lagi still Some people who Read the physical books 
Okay, jadi you kena faham dekat sini that whoever controls the market share, dialah yang most probably company itu sendiri yang akan sukses in that industry. Okay? Okay. And then, uh, barrier. Okay, barrier for entry. Okay, kalau entry level senang, okay, maksudnya senang je company lain pun nak buat juga business tu, you akan ada, you akan face what we call competition. Okay, you can face what we call competition. And competition apabila terlalu banyak, market share ada sekian. Okay, dia bukannya market share you boleh grow, grow, grow very fast. Okay, you have the population doesn't grow that fast. Okay, dia kena orang kata beranak, lepas tu membesar. So, you won't get that market share will grow that fast. With the orang kata uh, ni. So, pendek kata kalau senang nak company baru nak establish the same business so it's less favorable eh okay less favorable and then um, position positioning of the company dalam industri tersebut okay katakanlah sebab tu saya kata eh sometimes you akan heran tau macam okay uh, saya datang daripada ni eh saya punya walaupun saya study biotechnology engineering but Most of my experience working eh, Saya dulu kerja dulu kerja eh, Saya kerja dengan Sendabi for three and a half years So most of my experience eh, Working is more on the plantation side eh. Okay So masa ni cerita sikit eh, Masa saya Started in uh, Saham eh. Okay I mean like really really Started lah 2011 was The year that I really really Orang kata full time everything lah Okay so Saya invested in a few Plantation companies lah Especially yang kecil-kecil eh, Because I always thought that When you invest in the smaller ones, okay, 20 sen ni, 30 sen ni kan, it's easier to go up to 1 ringgit, 2 ringgit compare dengan you invest yang 4 ringgit, 3 ringgit, okay. Okay, so sangkaan tu salah. Okay, saya bagi tahu you, sangkaan tu salah. Okay, kenapa? Sebab when you talk about smaller companies, when you talk about smaller companies, one thing, you don't have negotiation power. Okay, kalau supplier nak naikkan harga barang, Okay, there's no much argument eh Because you tak beli bulk sangat-sangat besar So there's no much argument Kalau you tak nak, orang lain nak Okay, so you don't have that leverage or power In terms of negotiation Okay, jadi cost is everything for a company Okay, jadi apabila company kecil ni Berlakunya changes ni, dia akan loss Sebab tu at one point, saya pernah When CPO drop eh When CPO drop Okay The big companies profit Plantation eh The big companies profit But my company yang saya invest tu Okay That time was what uh, I was thinking Rimbunan sawit kata selap So Dia loss Okay Bila CPO is low Because There is a certain cost eh To manage per hectare eh And then for a bigger-bigger plantation Yang orang kata go for Orang kata ber Ber Apa uh, Yang dah ribu-ribu Or ber, berpuluh ribu hektar ni Okay Ada yang even ratus ribu eh Okay dia orang punya cost is much more efficient okay because they can buy bulk there certain things fertilizer apa semua so they are more efficient and then because dia orang can buy cheaper they can do a better uh, orang kata regime of the fertilizer eh. fertilizer ni ada regime regime dia eh. you have, bulan sekian you kena this fertilizer bulan sekian this fertilizer dia ada that SOP eh so Memang SOP tu mantap eh Tapi bukan semua company boleh buat eh Because it's the cost At the end of the day it comes to the cost Okay jadi bila You talk about baja Of course it affects the production Okay it affects the production of the Buah sawit itself So dekat situ pun you akan kacau revenue Okay so kalau cost naik melambung Oops sorry Kalau CPO uh, CPO jatuh Your revenue decrease Dah lah your production decrease Because uh, Ataupun production remain con constant je Sama je Because You cannot uh, Kata Apa Have more Better regime of fertilizer So you nak buat macam mana So dekat situ Saya dah belajar that Okay Positioning is very important Meaning the big big companies They have Much better position Compared to the smaller ones Sebab tu kalau you tengok When you talk When I talk about stock market I always talk about the um, du, Sekarang lah Dulu-dulu memang Masa awal Dulu memang saya selalu tekan Pasal this uh, penny stocks The 20 cent 30 cent stocks Apa semua But nowadays I don't talk much about that Ada lah Some one or two lah Kalau you dalam Saya punya group Saya cerita lah One or two pennies lah Yang saya rasa Ada potential Because 
I did make my biggest one in the penny stock lah Okay, SK Press that time Saya beli 8 sen boleh jual sampai 80 sen Okay, but there's cerita lama lah Okay But most of the potential ones are in the What you call In the The big, big companies lah Better Okay So, position in the industry is very important When you talk about the business Okay So, when you have the position Of course, you also have the market share Your market share is bigger compared to the smaller ones Last kali eh, last kali in terms of business eh. Ini baru satu eh, business eh So, um, you have to look at the market or the industry trend Okay, so concept yang Walaupun you dah faham fundamental You dah faham the business And you look at other four, four things yang saya akan cerita nanti You cannot neglect your shares Okay, bukannya Ni bukan macam ASB Macam tabung haji, letak duit, tinggal Tak payah ambil tahu, tak ada You have to Constantly Tengok balik Bukannya bukan yang Ni bukan sama macam Kena mengadap depan screen tu Kena mengadap nak tengok macam trading No 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 This is that You follow up the news Okay once in a while Seminggu sekali Atau du, Once in a while lah Orang kata at least ada lah Dalam sebulan tu Follow up The recent news Okay follow up Kita kena tengok Whether industry tu Is trending down Or trending up Okay jadi Sebab Reshuffling in the portfolio Perkara biasa Okay, at this time, sometimes Kita, masa kita buat projection tu That industry is good Okay, saya dulu pun Certain years tu, that time property was good Then auto was good And then dua-dua down Okay, kena shift benda lain Okay, so it happens Jadi, konsep beli tinggal tak ada There's no such thing Beli tinggal, beli tinggal Tahu-tahu, tutup mata 20 tahun kemudian Sukses, tak ada It doesn't work that way Okay Macam saya cakap eh, success in the stock market is dedication of time, sacrifice of time. Okay, dedication and sacrifice of time. You have to do a lot of reading. You have to do a lot of monitoring. Okay, monitoring tu, I mean more in terms of news, more in terms of financial results. Kita kena tengok, tiga bulan sekali, quarter result, tengok result. Okay, so um, when you talk about the industry, okay, macam sekarang construction is not good eh. Not that good construction at the moment Construction is not that good at the moment um, Kita betul after, after change of the government There's a lot of reviewing So I wouldn't go into construction Okay, plantation is something you need to look at Because CPO tengah at its lowest Dalam 2200 sekarang Okay, it can go as high as 2600 uh, petan So you boleh tengok benda tu Okay, CPO is there. Because Warren Buffett kata is You have to act contrarian eh? Okay, saya banyak follow Warren Buffett eh? Because I follow the best because the best uh, Tak ada orang perfect eh Nobody can 100% say that Oh this is memang cara dia No But at least If you are following the best The chances are Dia nak go wrong tu Very low lah Okay so Dia always act contrarian eh Oh matahari dah naik eh So hopefully tak Tak, tak ni eh Tak Orang oh, kata pecah Kelantan cakap apa eh uh, Jangan bahasa Tak apa nama Block the ni lah The, the, the gambar Alright so um, you have to act contrarian When the plantation When the CPO is down That's the time Okay That's the time Because that's the time to buy Not the time to Orang kata uh, Buy when the CPO price is up Masa tu lah You baru nak kejar Tegih-hegih nak beli time tu Okay You must act contrarian to Whatever the Orang kata um, Situation of the market Okay and then kena tengok jugalah You punya saham tu Ada in, apa Company yang you nak beli tu Ada involved tak Oh matahari naik lah Agak ni eh So saham yang you beli tu Dia Ada Whether the businesses How many percent is overseas How many percent is local Okay The borrowing So so kena check Debt dia Okay Debt dia Is denominated in US dollar Or denominated in MYR Okay So you kena check Benda-benda tu Okay So Komponen dua eh Okay we talk about business lah Okay ni general lah Basically saya cerita ni general lah Kalau kita nak cerita pasal benda ni uh, It can take days lah Okay kalau betul-betul nak cerita eh Okay so number dua is profitability Okay Saya sangat tekankan eh profit Okay when you talk about uh, shares It must be a profitable company Okay You boleh tengok eh Kalau siapa yang dah familiar dengan sistem saham Tahu yang Macam mana nak tengok profitability You boleh buat summary lagi boleh, boleh, Dia ada klik-klik-klik uh, Dekat sistem tu Dia keluar summary eh Sampai 2011 rasanya Kalau you nak sambung bawah lagi You kena pergi dekat website bursa Okay so It must be consistently profit, profit 
Okay, maknanya kalau kita tengok hijau je semua Okay, usually kalau dia losses tu merah Kalau once in a while loss tu Atau sekali after like maybe 2-3 years sekali Sometimes it's a one-off item So you kena check balik dekat bursa website Go there, download the report Baca dekat notes to the account Tengok balik what is the reason the company rugi Okay, macam Azieta baru-baru ni, kalau you tengok the profit lost 3 billion eh. Dia bukan yang lost 3 billion. It's basically the console, um, the merger of between Vodafone dengan Ideal. Okay, dia ada invest di India. So, and then satu lagi dia tidak subscribe pada right issue last time. So, it causes their shares to be diluted. So, dengan merger masuk baru ni, Vodafone eh, into the company. So, the, what you call? Instead of own, uh, owning about 19%, dia akan grow to about 8% je dia punya equity stake. Jadi, itu yang menyebabkan the one-off loss. It's a non-cash item. Okay, so you kena fahamkan benda tu. Nombor dua, profit tu growing ke, stagnant ke, atau trending down. Okay, trending down memang out dalam saya punya ni. Kalau profit dulu besar, 2011 besar, lama-lama makin kecil, makin kecil, I'm not interested usually. Okay, I look at a growing company. Kalau konsisten pun okay. Because you have to understand, certain business memang dah orang kata tepu. Okay, they are orang kata competition eh. Competition market share. Macam kalau kita tengok uh, DG Maxis dengan, uh, what's one more? Selkom, Ezeta lah. Okay, kalau you tengok, their profit is roughly the same je. Okay, roughly the same. Ajinomoto pun saya tengok roughly the same. Uh, FNN roughly the same So because dia dah um, Dia panggil dah tepu eh okay, Market dia dah Market share dah tepu But at least dia profit Itu yang paling penting Because over time The share will go up Okay when When you have profits Okay if you study the accounting When you have profits You are basically increasing the shareholders equity So maknanya You are increasing the worth of the company Okay when the Over time The company is worth so much It cannot be at the same price That is why suddenly dia lompat tiba-tiba. Okay, sebab tu orang yang long-term investor yang betul-betul faham how to look at the accounts, how to look at the standing of the company akan benefit apabila dia jumpa Ish, company ni dah lama tak gerak tapi dia punya over the five years they are actually growing. So, dia beli ting- uh, and then dia monitor tahu-tahu tiba-tiba terbang. Okay. Uh, in terms of profit One more saya tengok Aspect margin eh. Okay Margin is very important eh. Macam saya bagi example Dekat kami kecil tadi Okay Margin is very important When you do business It's always about the margin Okay The bigger the margin Is better Okay The bigger the margin Is better um, Because You have to understand eh, As Time pass Orang kata Makin lama The Cost of labor Akan increase The cost of material Akan increase Okay, kalau the company is renting, the rent will increase. Okay, and then um, as the company grows bigger, of course you will take more loans. So, banyak interest also can, uh, orang kata, boleh vary eh. Interest kan boleh bertukar-tukar, BLR kan boleh tukar-tukar. Okay, so all this is uh, variables. Okay, variables yang akan mengkacau kita punya profit. Okay, so if you have a smaller margin for profit, katakanlah buat RM100,000. Okay, pro- revenue eh, revenue 100 over 1000 But you come to the net profit after minus everything Tax, apa semua, admission cost Everything lah, net You only make 3000 So you are making about 3% So any changes in the cost suddenly Okay, in the cost yang unexpected Okay What do you expect? The company will be in loss lah lepas ni Okay, that's the problem. Okay, sebab tu saya kata that margin is very important. So, a good company, if you can get 8 to 10% or above, is good enough. Okay, 8 to 10%. So, kalau dia bawah 5%, I don't highly recommend. Seriously, I don't highly recommend. Alright, itu saya punya own personal choice. Eh? I mean, like, there's no right or wrong eh, dalam dalam stock market. Nobody, macam saya cakap tadi, nobody is perfect. Nobody knows what is the correct formula. Tak ada. Everybody... Dia belajar sana sini dia, dia get ilmu sana sini They compile They make it their own And then Dia customize To suit Their needs Alright So saya memang tekan pada Margin yang lebih besar Daripada 5% 8 to 10% At least Okay Anything bigger is good Alright So itu kita talk In terms of profitability Saya nak cuba cepat ni eh Sebab so, matahari dah Dah makin panas <laughs> Alright So uh, Nombor 3 eh Nombor 3 Nombor tiga is uh, I look at the history of the payouts 
Okay, apa yang saya maksudkan dekat sini? Okay, if you have the kenangan sistem eh, kalau you tengok, you masuk YouTube channel saya eh, Ruki Saham Gakuen, saya ada pernah tunjuk, eh bukan, saya pernah upload satu video eh, on the how to get your cantrip system eh, your kenangan punya eh, orang kata free trial lah. Alright, kalau you nak um, get the full system, then you have to be registered with the kenangan. Okay, but you can get the trial for 90 days eh. Okay, kalau you betul-betul interested in the system, then later you talk whether you nak register or not. Okay, so you can get the, ni you, you can tengok-tengok tengok dekat saya punya YouTube channel eh, Ruki Sam Gakuen. Okay, so in there you boleh tengok dekat Equities Tracker eh, sejarah eh. Ataupun di dalam sistem, I think most of the system are almost the same eh. So if you look at the sejarah, you can see how much capital payout dia pernah buat. Okay, capital payout is a bonus issue or it can be a stock split or it can be a right issue. Okay, and uh, how much dividends do they pay? Okay, kita nak juga company yang bukan saja orang kata profit but also share the perks dengan kita. Bukan saja orang kata apa profit lepas tu dia sonok seorang-seorang dia. Dia dapat bonus besar. Okay, the apa orang kata uh, the management ambil gaji yang besar, bonus yang besar. So, we don't we don't really uh, orang kata ni lah. Look at that point saja. Kita nak juga, kita pun, kita shareholder kan. So, kita sendiri pun kenalah merasa. So, you have to look at the sejarah capital payout. Whether there is a bonus, a split or a right issue and then dividends. Okay, you kena tengok benda-benda tu. Okay, so this thing semua boleh tengok dalam sistem. Okay, kalau you tengok yang DVD saya ni, saya rasa saya tunjuk dalam fasa yang ketiga tu, sistem eh. Mana nak tengok. Okay, uh, keempat eh. Keempat is financial statement eh. Okay, you tak boleh lari eh. You cannot run from accounting eh. Saya bukan suruh belajar, think, apa, macam mana nak buat accounting. That's different. Credit, debit, apa semua tu. No, no. You have to learn how to read the accounts. Okay, you have to learn how to read accounts. You have to know how to read income statement. You have to know how to read balance sheet. How to read the cash flow statement. How to relate the three statements. And also the last one is usually yang orang selalu um, ignore lah. Basically, you can get information from there. But usually, saya tak tengok sangat lah. But it is still information eh. Shareholders equity eh. Statement eh. They are the change in equity whenever there's a new share coming apa semua. So, there will be a changes in the paid up. Definitely. So, there will be changes in the retained earnings sometimes. So, you can look at it and tengok apakah perubahan-perubahan eh. Treasury shares ke apa semua dalam tu. So, you have to relate all these three accounts eh. It's very important eh. Because saya bagi example je eh. Sometimes the company can be profitable but at the same time, the cash flow is not in. Okay, apa saya maksud kat sini is, kadang-kadang kita buat business kan. Okay, we do business, we give credit term, correct? Kita bagi kadang-kadang 60 days, 90 days credit term. There are payments that are not within the time period. Maknanya, they fail to pay. Jadi, bila they fail to pay, walaupun kita dah, revenue is recognized when earned, tapi cash tu belum masuk. Okay? Jadi, kita kena tengok daripada operation that you need the cash to be positive. Alright? For you to, the business to be sustainable, boleh pusing. Okay? Jangan orang kata profit besar rupa-rupanya, cash sangkut. Okay? Kena tengok jugalah dia punya free cash flow dia macam mana. Okay, and then you boleh, you boleh tengok dia punya drawdowns of the bank, that kind of things lah. A lot of things lah you boleh tengok. Eh. And then last eh, last. Okay, last is financial ratios eh. When you study the financial statement, so basically, itu saya panggil eh. Saya, saya banyak saya termkan sendiri eh. Um, I call that raw data basically. Okay, so you just, you just see one bulk figure kon, uh, macam... Uh, katakanlah profit is 5 million Okay, you say 5 million So, apakah tu 5 million? Okay, so if you have ratios You can actually look at trends Okay, you can look at the trends When you do a 5 um, five year ratio punya calculation Kita buat calculation Contoh macam kita nak tengok Okay lah, let's say I pick one ratio Katakanlah uh, dalam balance sheet ada tulis current asset sekian, current liability sekian. So, it's just a raw data. Until kita proses data tu, katakanlah kita ambil satu formula je dalam uh, dalam financial ratio. Kita ambil current ratio, contoh. Okay, let's say we take the current ratio. So, current ratio is current asset over current liabilities. Okay, divide je. Okay, so apa guna current ratio? Kita nak tahu whether the company is able to pay short, short term debts dia. Okay. Dia ada long term debt, ada short term debt. So, you need to know whether the company can pay. If the company cannot pay, it's a problem. Okay, sebab tu kita kena tengok current asset over current liability. So, kita tengok sepanjang 5 tahun tu. 
Sepanjang lima tahun tu dia uh, orang Jepun orang Jepun kata apa giri-giri ke giri-giri ni atas pagar lah maksudnya. Atas pagar ke ataupun lebih ke. Ada company tu saya jumpa macam uh, this Magnitech last time saya calculate the final ratio is four times. So they have four times ability to pay. Bila kita dapat empat maksudnya katakanlah kita, dia ada seringgit debt dia ada empat ringgit untuk bayar. Itu maksud dia. Okay so kalau you ada current ratio of lima Okay if you have a Current ratio of 0.5 Okay Waalaikumsalam Jekyll Hyde Okay Saya nak nak habis lah video saya You kena tengok ni eh Panjang eh Saya cerita eh Hari ni topik sangat penting So you tengok rakaman dia nanti eh Alright So uh, balik pada current ratio Kalau kata dapat 0.5 Okay Kalau you dapat 0.5 Maksudnya You tidak have enough current assets Maknanya uh, Assets yang mudah lebur kepada cash Untuk bayar your current debt Okay Which is problematic lah Because you akan dapat rating uh, yang buruk lah nanti okay, because orang akan uh, apa kata blacklist your company that kind of thing lah okay. and then uh, saya bagi one more contoh lah uh, ni. Okay, kita cerita pasal current ratio tadi kan kadang-kadang kita kena faham the bulk of the current assets because part of current assets in balance sheet is inventory okay. inventory is something not yet sold ok jadi Kadang-kadang kalau inventory tu besar, nampak macam current asset tu besar. Rupa-rupanya, kalau you minus out the inventory, because dia belum turn to cash, ataupun it's hard to turn it to cash to pay later. Okay. Jadi, sebenarnya current ratio you, uh, sorry, dia nama dia lain eh. Itu yang another formula kita panggil acid test ratio. Atau quick ratio. Jadi, kalau kita buang inventory, kita tengok, masa kita kira current ratio okay. Bila kita kira the um, quick ratio, tak okay. Uh, so, you know from there that the company is having trouble turning over their products into money. Okay, maknanya tak boleh nak jual lah basically. Ataupun terlalu banyak backlog. Ataupun terlalu banyak daripada inventory tu masih dalam raw material stage. Bukannya end final product. Jadi, kita kena calculate all this ratio. When you do a 5 year ratio, baru you nampak. Okay, baru you nampak. In terms of whether company ni sebenarnya growing ke Sebab kita dalam dalam ratio banyak eh Ratio sangat banyak eh okay? Kalau dalam you, kalau you tengok saya punya uh, the DVD Saya akan saya, saya dah list out eh Which ratio yang saya rasa penting okay, Banyak lagi ratio maknanya banyak lagi boleh belajar InsyaAllah saya akan buat lagi rakaman pasal This ratio-ratio stuff lah okay? What, Mana yang saya rasa important eh Okay So in terms of valuation eh okey uh, saya tak cover this topic okey valuation ni is something yang saya agak is a personal opinion eh dia tak ada betul atau salah eh okey so valuation ni okey when you talk about intrinsic value eh people always talk about intrinsic value to me i have one question eh about intrinsic value ni eh bila saya calculate intrinsic value i found that i have to put my own figures some certain of the formula i kena masuk my own figure bermaksud kalau i dengan you calculate We will never reach the same figure Katakanlah you letak saya dalam room A You room B Kita analyze company ni Valuation kita akan berbeza Definitely Okay because we have different opinion On the company Okay we will think Their cash flow is like this You think like this So bagi saya that kind of valuation is Something yang I'm not Saya tak berapa keen okay? Dulu saya agak macam When I took the CFA I, I calculate, 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 calculate And at the end of the day Saya fikir balik Banyak saya assume eh? Banyak saya assume So instead I always use simple valuation Saya ajar saya punya student eh. Saya use simple valuation Saya use the net tangible asset Okay as the one of the things Because when you minus out the Orang kata uh, apa, Asset minus out the liabilities You get what's a net So saya sangat tengok net tangible assets Okay I'm more into businesses yang More with tangible assets Rather than intangible Saya kurang sikit eh Kalau tadi banyak intangibles eh Especially the What you call The good wheels Everything like that Saya kurang sikit I'm more into the companies that have tangible assets because at least something happened to the company or the company decide to not pursue anymore the business bila they liquidate so we still have the uh, leverage eh? or kata we still have the balance for us Okay, so saya banyak gunakan um, that one sometimes I also use the dividend model yield eh? saya akan calculate based on dividends sebab dividends are quite macam ada trends yet you can see the growth tu boleh nampak ataupun consistency tu ada so dividends is dividend model yield growth saya akan calculate Okay, dua tu lah usually saya guna Okay, most of the cases saya guna net tangible assets and the dividend model yield 
Okay, so usually dua lah. So, I don't really go for the yang complex. Eh. There is a complex. Eh. Kalau you study valuation, banyak complex. Eh. Uh, of the... Uh, kata ni lah. Kalau you tengok, banyak pros lah. Yang tulis articles on the... Um, apa dia panggil? Yang tulis article on... Um, Research lah, research articles So you tengok dia ada TP Sebab dia calculate ni eh, dia banyak calculate Macam sum of parts, SOP Dia banyak ada calculation dia So for me is, I don't really look at it eh. Kalau you tanya I personally that After I've been studying a long time Okay, benda ni saya lebih Saya stick to the NTA dengan dividend model year Okay, and most importantly I always follow up dengan quarter result Okay, it's very important So okay uh, Dah lama dah saya Ni live dah, dah berapa ni eh Saya pun tak sure berapa minit dah ni Alright so kejap Market pun nak start dah kejap lagi Ataupun mungkin dah start Saya pun tak perasan ni eh. Okay Because saya tengah live dengan handphone saya Okay so Ingat eh 5 komponen tadi eh Business Profitability History of payouts Financial statements And the financial ratios Okay Valuation you can just follow the valuation yang saya cerita tadi Alright, so you nampak eh, that saham ni is not on kata, yes, luck plays a part eh, dalam saham eh, kita choose, choose, lepas tu ada yang menjadi, ada yang tak jadi eh, but on kata, it's just a part of it, banyaknya adalah research, membaca, do your calculations, follow the the business, follow, uh, and then uh, go through the financial statements, alright, then you can decide whether the company is best fit for you or not. Okay, sebab dari situ kita tahu juga whether the company is too risky for us or not Ataupun risk dia kita boleh accept Okay So, lima komponen ni eh So, uh, saya harap, saya rasa this is the most ni lah eh Dalam banyak-banyak video saya, video hari ni yang paling saya rasa uh, penting eh For you as a shareholder, for you as a investor um, To invest in the stock market eh you have to look at the companies eh? don't don't be scared sangat of the market lah. the market is always like that lah dia akan dia panggil market jitters eh? memang normal lah dia merah dia worse dia akan cerita dia akan tulis macam-macam lah ok but when the market is good dia cerita lain pula ok so market is one thing the company is another thing alright so um, saya harap you all can share uh, please share this video eh please share this video to your friends eh and then uh, bagi tahu dia mereka lah pasal rookie saham Gakuen ni so you can uh, subscribe so that they can uh, like the page and then um, apa-apa saya update dia akan dapat information okay kalau you go through my uh, Facebook page rookie saham Gakuen ni banyak saya dah share okay you can also go through my channel eh rookie channel YouTube eh, saya satu lagi channel YouTube because kalau let's say you malas nak scroll down so saya upload juga some of the videos eh, saya akan upload lagi sebab bila every time saya ada free time, saya akan upload so you can go to uh, the channel eh, YouTube Rookie Saham Gakuen eh. so dekat situ pun you boleh belajar banyak benda eh. ok, sebab tu saya selalu tekan dalam saham, especially orang baru jangan berkejar sangat untuk invest ok, jangan, jangan risau banyak peluang, peluang banyak ok, jangan kata macam, oh kalau tak invest sekarang akan rugi Uh, tengok you dah rugi berapa tahun Okay, semua tu, semua tu Lebih kepada ayat marketing Okay, you kena focus on what Are the things that you need to be doing first Okay, which is nombor satu Kena cari ilmu dahulu Okay, and then yang penting Saya selalu cerita kalau tengok video-video yang lepas Modal tu start kumpul sekarang Okay, start kumpul Biarlah sikit bulan-bulan jadi janji konsisten Okay, janji konsisten So, you kena start kumpul So once again before saya akhiri video saya So again saya nak uh, ni eh, Saya ada DVD uh, Rookie Saham Gakuen So kalau you berminat dengan DVD ni Okay there's also a telegram network eh After support eh So maksudnya Kalau you tengok DVD ni you tak faham Okay so you can address the questions dekat telegram network tu Okay so saya akan support dari situ Okay so basically you macam Dapat coaching jugalah basically Alright So ada orang tanya eh Saya tu saya um, saya pergi ke office saya kat Kenanga eh And then uh, this, Saya terserempak dengan one guy lah Tiba-tiba dia tegur saya Saya pun terkejut eh Okay minta maaf lah eh Kalau saya tak kenal anda eh Tiba-tiba anda datang tegur saya Eh Mr. Uh, Cik Azim kan Saya pun terkejut lah kan Okay Saya mohon maaf lah eh Kalau saya tak kenal sebab ramai orang ni Okay tapi thank you uh, yang tegur saya hari tu uh, Dia it seem that dia follow saya punya channel Okay so uh, Apa nama dia tanya pasal kelas eh okay. Ramai orang tanya saya pasal kelas eh Bila saya nak buat kelas Sebab saya selalu Memang saya tak ada masa eh. Bukan 
saya ada a lot of things to do so saya nak buat insyaallah cuma masa tu okey so doakan saya dapat freekan masa saya okey saya dapat orang kata um, bebaskan banyak-banyak benda yang priority dulu then later insyaallah memang saya akan buatlah kelas uh, yang kesam sam nak jumpa dengan saya so saya akan buat kelas uh, orang kata supaya that we can orang kata ada face to face interaction okey selain daripada saya buat di Facebook live so we can meet up uh, one day dekat kelas and then you boleh tanyalah apa soalan-soalan yang you nak tanya berkaitan dengan saham alright so sekian dulu eh uh, saya harap today punya lesson uh, you all learn a lot eh so today uh, kita ada uh, Sam Pool, IP, Jekyll Hyde, Amin Yusof, Hazin Akmal, Kamaru Isan. Okay, thank you for watching. Mereka yang saya tahu ramai bekerja, okay. Uh, because saya pun nak kena start juga. So, you all boleh tengok rakaman after this lah. So, jangan lupa share the video to your friends. So, saya akhiri dulu um, this this session. So, insyaAllah next week saya akan live lagi. Alright, so insyaAllah doakan saya semakin sihat. Supaya saya dapat share lebih banyak ilmu, okay. So, until then, thank you very much uh, uh, to those yang watch. Um, saya raja and out dulu, Mr. Rukisam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.